resolute. I would have said it's true what you're on three, but I managed to screw up my own intro. Yes. In the last episode, well, uh, what did we do last episode? I believe that was where we took down Earl of the Pearl Villa. That's how my team are looking, and we were just heading back to Solar City, I believe. Yes, okay, yeah, we're headed back to Solar City. But one thing that I did notice in the last episode that was, well, it wasn't this trap inch. Alright, it's preventing escape. Hmm, no, let's get rid of it. Let's not catch it. <laughs> yeah, one thing I noticed from the last episode was that some new trainers had been, well, had spawned in that weren't here originally. One such being Collector Gideon, with his Munchlarks, hooray! <laughs> I guess it's a really good thing that I was starting off with Mianfu in this episode. Or in this part, I guess, I don't know. Yeah. Also, I certainly hope that we do manage to find a name rater sooner or later, because it kind of sucks having Henrique and Francine and then just Mianfu. <laughs> Right, Slowpoke, uh, since Francine still unfortunately only knows Side Wave, which is annoying. Oh uh, dear. Now, I don't even remember whether Mushana learns moves by leveling them or not. As in, I legitimately cannot remember the answer to that. Right, let's switch out because I'm not being put to sleep or being yawned at. Oh dear. Yeah, now that's the thing I don't like about Psy Wave is that it's not exactly a dependable move. But, as you can see there. Oh, let's just... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Francine, why? Why do you torture me so? Right. Oh, my hair just went into that man's shoes. Oh dear. Right. Where is the exit? I do not remember. Right, I know we... Okay, I was going to say I know we battled that guy. But that Zubat just decided to come in and, you know, get involved. We didn't battle this guy, though. Yeah, he's new. See? I can breathe blue fire. I mean, that sounds cool, but the fact that he's probably a fire breather, insane. We're the magma. Oh, no. <laughs> that was an actual... Oh, no. I didn't mean Sato. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I did not anticipate that Karate Chop would do that much damage. Oh, please don't poison me and Fu. Good. Right, even better then. Oh, oh, flame body, okay. Eh, that's fine, I can just put Francine up first then. I mean, I believe we're just about at uh, Silver City anyway, so I don't really think it matters. Oh well. Because I, <laughs> I don't often get burnt, the burnt status in Pokemon games, so... You'll have to excuse me if I never buy burn heals or ice heals as well for that matter. I suppose with like, I don't often buy awakenings any either, just because, like, what's the point in having items for statuses that you can just get out of, like, in battle? I don't know. Right, so we're back here, who are you? Did we? Yeah, we did. Okay, right. So we can't go anywhere at Bronze Lake before I forget, because we need to be able to surf. So let's just head back up to this place. Oh, is there still a meeting going on? Right. Cool. Alright, so I think if we look at the map, we head north up to uh, Grass Path and... Ooh, Amethyst Town. Nice. Okay, let's go then. Now, I don't know whether we battled anyone up here. Hey, you. Outstanding. Trainer, you got one badge with you. Let's battle. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, Adolf. Right. Uh, right. Francine's going to be useless because I know Scraggy is part dark type as well as fighting. Right. Let's just karate chop it a couple times. And a chest spin. That's obviously grass, so it'd be dumb not to switch into Henrique for this. Right. Oh, okay. Wait, if it, unless he's chosen it not to evolve, 
couldn't his chestpin have evolved at level 17? I don't know. Hooray, but Henrik's level 20. Nice. Look, lost it. Okay, kid, can I go past? You really impressed me, kid. There's a gift to you. Ooh, HMO 1, isn't that cut? Alright. Now, I do remember seeing... Wait, weren't there some wild ratatars somewhere? I feel like it might be advantageous to go catch ourselves a wild ratatar just to use it as like a HM slave. Right, so also in my box I've got the I've got that snivy that we got given and a togepi. I feel like snivy can learn cut. So I think for now, um, I'll just take snivy with me just because, like I said, I'm not planning on using it on my team. I'll teach cut to snivy. So uh, there's no wild Pokemon there. In here it was just like the Psyduck and the Moodle, wasn't it? And Ekans, I wouldn't have thought Ekans can learn cut. Well, that's fine, let's just head back up onto this route then. The grassy path, I believe it was. And I suppose we may as well head out on a journey to Amethyst Town. And who knows, maybe we'll find a Rattatar in this grass along the way or a decent HM slave. Don't be so rushed, sweetie, there's no need for you to be like that. There is one I've got a let's play to do, Amelia. Uh, oh, Bergmite, wow, cool. You know what, I'd use a Bergmite. I mean, I've never used one in game. From what I remember, it's, it's like really slow, but its defense is really high, like physical defense. And then I don't remember what its special defense is. I don't know. I think it was, wait, no, Bergmite, oh, okay, Amelia, fine, if you're just going to be like that, I may as well just go into me and food. Oh dear, I did not realise that she'd do that much damage, oops, <laughs> perhaps it'd be a good idea not to, like, speed through all of these battles, just, please stop that, this, Amelia, no, no, I'd rather not, Amelia. I also want to see what's in this grass. Crow gunk in. Oh, sure, of course, can't escape. Spiro. Oh, a ratata, there we go. Right, if we can, I'm just gonna try and catch it. So I'm gonna hope the sideway doesn't do too much damage. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Of course it will. Ha 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 ha. I say to myself. Right, let's yawn it, and then I'll just switch into Henrik, so I don't, yeah, do anything, and then I can fall asleep, and... Pokeball, there we go. Ta-da! Right. Let's teach Cut to Rattata as well, and then... I'm actually gonna go dump Snivy off in the PC, because... Eh. I don't think it's as used useful a HM slave as a Rattata would be, so... Yeah. Alright, so also if you haven't guessed by now, or hadn't gathered by now, I'm not going to be bothering using Rattata on my team either. Oh dear. Now I don't know whether I want to stick with just five Pokemon for this Let's Play, or six. That's something I've not decided, because like, I don't know how often I'm going to need HMs. So like, ooh, a Pidgeotto. So I don't know whether it would be worth it to like, have a slot dedicated to a HM slave, or just, oh, cool. Or just like, um, or just like have all six Pokemon and then just switch out. Last page. Hey look, she has a Mooner as well. Right, because it's gonna be a side wave fight, I figure I may as well just zoop through it. There we go. And oh well, Luxio. Um, the saddest thing is, Francine's probably the best. I hate you. <laughs> Just putting that out there, Paige, I hate you. He's probably the best form of defense I would have against a Luxio. Oh my god, stop adding me. <laughs> Everyone needs to stop adding me to everything. Right. Um. 
Right, I don't know what I expected for this path. It's called Grassy Path. Right, I see a black belt down there. Yeah, so I don't know why I would expect anything different than lots of grass. Now, I'll put Henrik up first because I'm assuming the black belt at, at sushi. Okay. Would have fighting Pokemon, but I didn't anticipate a level 16 Scrafty. Huh. This is going to be painful. Oh no, oh no. Oh my gosh. Right, so I may just have to take a quick run back to the Pokemon Center again after this fight. <laughs> right, and me and Fu. Oh, we can. Oh, it's gonna use Fake Out though, isn't it? And that's gonna practically. Okay. I would have thought it would have used Fake Out because that would have practically KO'd Henrik. I mean, it's what I would have personally done. Wait, did me and Fu maybe not know it at that point? And match up. Oh, let's go with Francine because Henrique's two levels higher than everyone else. And because it's Psy Wave, I'm just gonna speed up because maybe one day Francine will learn another damaging move. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna. Oh, 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 oh. Apparently, wander through all of the grass. Oh wow. Is that a Vulpix with its hidden ability? Same ditto. Say oh, hell, let's just quickly KO this Krogan kits a one hit KO for free experience. Oh, let me live. Let me go back to the Pokemon Center. Right. So unless I've just chosen really weak Pokemon to use so far, it seems like the difficulty has been ramped up a little bit in con as opposed to like a regular Pokemon game, which I do kinda like, but Actually, how much money do I have? Could, mm, I could invest in some super potions, actually. It's just kind of annoying when, like, they don't give you that much money and, like, damage your Pokemon. Like, severely, quite often. It's just time-consuming that you need to keep running back to the Pokemon Center, right? Um, I'll just buy 10 to be going on with. And then I think, obviously, as the smart thing to do, I'll make use of my regular potions first. Just to, you know, not be wasteful. Right. Okay, I was going to say right, but apparently we got a whole two grass tiles in before we got um, interrupted. I'm pretty sure the encounter rate may have been ramped up as well, because I'm fairly certain Pokemon wouldn't normally appear at this rate <laughs> in a Pokemon game in grass patches. Right, so, oh, this guy looks like a fighter as well, maybe? No? Grass path is full of wild Pokemon. I hope there's some Pokemon which I'd like to catch. Literally me in every single route. Like, I saw that Muna, I caught it just because I've never used one before, and I kind of regret it now, because, honestly, it is not being very useful so far. Ooh, a Pawnyard. I mean, a Steel Dark type, it could be quite useful, but... It's another one of those like Mianfu, it takes a long time to evolve and really be that, you know, really be that tough an opponent, I suppose. Youngster Mitch with a Vulpix. Well, I mean, that's an obvious lie that you just caught it because I have... Alright. I have yet to see any wild... Stop! Oh my god, no. Actually. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I was gonna say Ratata can do this. Oh my god, Ratata did it! <laughs> MVP of this episode, HM Slave Ratata. <laughs> oh dear, right, how are my Pokemon looking? Fine, Ratata's the only one that took damage, she'll be fine. Oh, there we go! There's a cut tree as well. Right, and what is the first item we've obtained from a cut tree? Ooh, a Hyper Potion, awesome! I'm always down for free hyper potions. Right. This guy looks like a battle, so let's go down instead. Ooh, berries. I know said ooh, apples. Citrus berries. I know they'd be really useful as, like, hold items, but since the internal clock doesn't work on this emulator, <gasps> we may be saying goodbye to Francine. Just gonna say that now. You know what? 
I'm, I think I think we're replacing Francine. <laughs> Sorry to those people who like Mushana and don't like Inke, but I like Inke, so <laughs> that's my only reason I like Inke more than Muna slash Mushana. And also, that's a thing, and Inke is probably going to be more useful, or Malamar is going to be more useful because it covers Dark type as well as Psychic type. Right. Yay! Right, Inke, Malamar, let's call it. Because it's a squid, and squid is often calamari, I think the only appropriate nickname would be Kali, but spelt this way. Right, so I'm actually, I'm not gonna spare you. No, I am gonna. Oh, hustle, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna spare you the pain of watching this next bit. I'm gonna, like, cut off screen and then, like, heal all my Pokemon and train up Kali a bit, so I'll see you in a sec. So I'm training, and Henrique has grown to level 22, which I believe, yep, is the level when a Taylor evolves into a Swellow, so. While I am just tra training and doing this off screen, I figure it'd be nice to at least show you that this is happening. <laughs> oh, also at this point, guess who also learnt Psywave? Kali. And I don't know why I did finger pistols when you couldn't even see. But anyway, Henrique has evolved and we've got a Sweller. So one thing I didn't count on was Kali evolving at level 18. I'm pretty sure that's not when an Inke would normally evolve into a Malamar, but it's happening. Yeah. So I'm guessing since it's gone with the... Oh, she's also trying to learn Hypnosis. Sure, why not? Let's get rid of Swagger, I guess. I'm very confused. I'm assuming since it's... Like, since it has the cry of Poochiena and Mightyena, it's just, like, reskinning those two Pokemon as that Pokemon. But yeah. Huh. So, I think this is where I'm actually just gonna continue. I was gonna say this is where I'm gonna continue the video, but this Pawniad seems to think otherwise. Right. So I'm going to heal up one last time, I think, and then, yeah, since I suppose at levels 18, 20, and 22, or 23, I think, Henrique is at, I think, let's not run, I think this is just where we're going to continue, but I'm just going to, you know, zap through all the grass, and when I say zap through, I just mean <laughs> speed through, oh uh, no, oh my gosh, I, I honestly hate this route, it's just... I'm fairly certain that the encounter rates have been ramped up. Because they would Pokemon would not appear this frequently in normal games. I'm fairly certain of that. It's just frustrating when I'm trying to continue the game and it's just like, nope, let's encounter a Pokemon that's wild every five seconds. Uh, crumble, crumble, crumble. Right, psychic Keith. Sent how to psych isn't that's not even a psychic Pokemon yet, is it though? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but I guess one thing I'm a little bit annoyed about is that in case of Pokemon I love, but it's been sullied with a an ability that I despise. I mean I hate I honestly hate the not the move, the ability hustle. I mean, extra power, cool, but yeah, it means that every move you have, even if it's a 100 accuracy move, it doesn't have 100 accuracy. And honestly, I'd rather have that 100 accuracy than that little bit of extra power. But one thing I, su I suppose I do appreciate is the fact that we have Faint Attack, which never misses, no matter how much our accuracy is lowered anyway, so basically we've got a move like that's been given a free buff basically and not to mention that it's the same type of attack bonus move so I guess instead of the 60 base power Fate attack will always have a base power of 72 right challenging Sharon is not that easy if you're careless you'll find it a nightmare to challenge Sharon I'm a visitor I heard it's full of artists so I decided to have a look at the town of art 
Right, so she's an artist and we'll have a nightmare there? Um, sorry, I have not. Okay, I don't care about the history of art while I'm playing this game. Uh, do you know? Try to make this alarm work. Uh, many parts. Who cares? I'll just throw it in the dustbin. You crazy, you monster. My alarm clock was broken. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> that was... That was something. The man. Let me guess. If we throw a bread with butter into the sky, which side... What? Uh, what's happening? Okay. Wait, isn't this Amethyst Town? I think it is. Warrior Pokemon. Ke Ooh, Keldeo. Okay. Yep. Cool. Right, I figure if I talk to everyone... What? Yeah, if I talk to everyone, maybe I'll find a free item somewhere. Oh, she's a... Oh wait, bug types? We've got a Swellow now, okay. Yeah, that's fine, I'm not too bothered anymore. So, unfortunately, Kali is our weakest Pokemon level-wise, and she's going to be absolutely useless in this gym, because she has a times 4 weakness to bug, being psychic and dark. Uh, did I speak with this kid? Student of art, but I'm here to visit Sharon. Cool. Why are there so many houses? Okay, okay, I don't care, I don't care. My dad was, oh my gosh, if you people aren't going to give me anything as shallow as this sounds, I don't care what you have to say. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Wait, a trainer called who? Old lady, come back. Wind, okay. And are we going to need a drinks card? Yep, a drinking ticket. Right, there's the mart, so let's not go in there. Um, okay then, um, this person, do you know Smeargle? Kind of Pokemon have a gift for artists, okay. Smeargle, Smeargle, I don't care. Wait, what? Was he gonna give me a Duot? Oh, Oshawott, hmm, sure I'll take it, but I'm never gonna use it, I hate Oshawott. And when I say hate Oshawott, I mean I've never despised a Pokemon more. <laughs> Simply just because, like, I watched the black and white anime, and Ashes Oshawott was the worst Pokemon and I hated it so much. So you know what, Oshawott, just for that you can, you know, just die in a box on your own. Just because I hate Oshawott that much. Right, and all that negativity aside, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I think in between this episode and the next one, I'm going to train up Kali a little bit more just so she's on equal levels with the others. And then next time, we will take on Sharon. So I will see you then.